Angela, how are you, baby? Virginia, how have I found you? Thought nothing from you tonight. Well, I've had my, uh, I've had it scheduled since Tuesday, baby. I mean, it's been up here on YouTube since Tuesday. Wonder what, wonder why you couldn't find me, Virginia. Whoop, whoop, bloop, bloop. Whoop, whoop, bloop, bloop. Hello, LaDonna. How are you? Hey, Gabby. This is the final countdown. Well, it's not the final countdown, but you know I'm counting the damn days. I'm counting the days. I'm counting down the days. Dana Grace, what's happening? Kelly, Michelle, and Mark have been down here cutting trees today. Off the roof of the house. Well, not off the roof. Let me get this over. Oh, if Kelly's watching this. No, she's probably in the bath. She's probably soaking right now. But she's probably fussing at me because I was supposed to get my bangs cut and I didn't. Julie and Joe. Hey, Julie. Hey, Joe S. How are you? Now, Julie S. and Joe S. Are y'all at the same house? Or is it just a coincidence y'all are Julie and Joe S.? I, she's not wrong. I need to really do something about this. Let's see. Hey, Sally. How are you, baby? Hey, Tony's Treasures. Happy Easter to my favorite person. Well, I should say one of my favorite people, but you know what I mean. Coincidence, Julia says. Okay. Vintage Velociraptor. How are you? Yes, I'm wishing everyone a sexy Saturday night and a wonderful Easter and start to your spring. Not in the same house. Thank you, Joe S. Hey, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann. I don't know what I'm doing with this number stick. Helen Casey, what's the happenings, babe? Hello, everyone. I am so glad to see y'all. So, hey, Rebecca and Jane Watson, how are you, sweet baby? And Jennifer, how are you tonight, darling? Let's see. My eyes are watering. Y'all, I'm probably, my eyes are probably going to be watering. And, and if nothing don't happen, <laughs> nothing don't change. Look at this hair. Lord Jesus, y'all. Anyway, uh, my nose is probably going to start running. Hey, Pam Avery. How are you, baby? Hey, Sarah Lee. I'm happy to see y'all. Maisie, how in the world have you been, honey? Greek Easter is the same as Cinco de Mayo this year. Really? Now, that's going to be a fun holiday. Good gracious. Maisie, it's so good to see you, baby. Don Domain, how are you, sweet baby? Oh, I am going to say, I am so happy to see April here because I'm going to have company all month long, just about it. And I can't, I am just, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. You know, I love having company here. It's one of my favorite things. Besides aggravating the hair off Kelly Michelle's head. And Kelly Michelle has been down here working all day, cutting, the, like I said, cutting trees. There was two, there was a dead tree over here, an old Catawba worm tree was over here, and it was dead. Did y'all know that ants can get inside a tree and just kill it? Because, I mean, from the inside out. But anyway, so that happened. Hey, Martha Peller. Hey, Tanya. Um, 17 days, 17 days. 17 days, I know it's 17 days. Oh, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. And um, so Mark got it in his head. He was going to cut, but they needed to be cut. They needed to be cut because they were getting on the, you know, house and rubbing this, rubbing the roof and everything like that. And with the high winds and storms and tornadoes and stuff we have, we don't have a lot of tornadoes here. We have high winds and straight line winds here a lot. And, um, you know, I mean, even though I do have, I had a metal roof put on the house in 2018. Yes, I had the shingle roof. We had a shingle roof and I had it in 2018 or 19, I think. Anyway, I had a metal roof put on. But still, I mean, they're not, you know, they're not damage proof. So, 
he came down here and cut and it, y'all it was it was hilarious watching Kelly Michelle because y'all know how she is just she is just a worry wart. And I went, she called me at one time. She said, Mother, come look. You you probably need to come look at this. I went out there and they had come alongs strung through them woods on them trees like Christmas lights. I laughed to my side her. Hey Debbie Gutierrez, how are you? Hey Christine. Lord, I've done missed everybody. Hey, Martha Peller, happy Easter to everybody. Everybody, everybody. Let me see where I am. Guten Abend to you, Verena. Guten Abend to you, baby. And Martha Peller, Debbie. Hey, Chrissy. No, I'm, I'll make Mark some tomorrow, though, because he worked hard down here for me today. And plus, he put up with Kelly Michelle and her nervousness. So, hey, uh-oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, she has sent me this. She has sent me this uh, video. She she made a video of Mark while he was cutting trees on top of the house. She just she was something else. We had a huge willow tree we had to remove because ants got in it. See there? I ain't never in my life seen the like of it. Uh, let's see. Now, they love willow trees. There's something inside of willow trees that ants really do love. Because we they did the same thing to a huge willow tree we had out here. Sarah Lee, let's see who else I've missed. Let's see. I got Vera Na. Whoop. Hey, Rebecca Higgins, 17 days to what? What did I mean? Oh, Gabby is coming. In 17 days, Gabby will be here at my house, and she's staying for a week with me. I think it's a week. Oh my. Anyway, she's staying. She's staying with me for a while. Longer if I can get her to. Let's see. Hey, Shannon, how are you tonight? Kelly is probably at home soaking in a hot bath or um, drinking a big glass of wine, I'm sure, because they worked hard down here today. Because, you know, once you cut the tree, you have to cut all the limbs off of it and everything, like delimb it, and then you have to go and run them off, walk them out in the woods. So, I mean, you know, it's not it's, it's a job. Hey, Cindy, how are you tonight, baby? Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann. Oh, P.S., this thing's just going crazy. And y'all, I still ain't figured out now. I worked on this darn computer, on this laptop yesterday till I got blue in the face with all my settings and trying to figure out how I got this, how I got my laptop view flipped. Because right now it's looking just like it does when I use StreamYard and say it's not supposed to. But that, I can't figure out nothing. I've done, I, I went to camera reset, uh, reset factory settings. I've done everything and I cannot figure out how it got this way, why it got this way or nothing. I, can, I can't figure it out. And it's just about to worry the hair off my head. Let's see. Yeah, Gabby, ants will get inside. They love willow trees. Now, I don't know why they got inside this catawba worm tree. Uh, they did get in there. Um, the winter we had the ice storm here. Don't don't remember which, which year it was. But I noticed them going up in there that, that fall before we had that ice storm that next winter. See, see, insects and things and animals and things, they know things in nature know when something bad's happening. And they bird up in that tree. Let's see. Hey, Tammy Bennett. Thanks, Tammy, you sweet angel. I appreciate that. Yes, Gabby's coming to Alabama, sister. Gabby is flying into Alabama. She sure is on the big jet plane. Makes me wish... I I'm so far away. From, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'm far away from everybody, too. Are you in, uh, I can't remember, Vintage Velociraptor. Are you on the West Coast? Are you in California? Hey, Sally. Hey, Patty, how are you tonight? Happy Easter to you and Mr. Al, baby. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Franny B, I'm having a colonoscopy. Oh, don't even talk about it. I've got to schedule mine. Oh, they they went. They got on me the last time I went to my my regular physician, my family doctor. Oh my God, he got on me the last time I went because I'm supposed to have one every five years. 
Oh, I can't. Oh. But thank you, Franny. Let me write that down. I'll, I'll call them Tuesday. Ain't no sense in putting that off. You know, it'll just be. Abby! Hey, darling. Oh, my God. It's so good to see you. Oh, please give Matt and Milo a hug for me, and I love you to pieces. And happy bunny weekend to you, my sweet angel. I love you to pieces. Hello, Tippy Winks of the Texas Tippy Winkses. Hey, Denise, how are you doing, darling? Lynn Fogel, what's happening, babes? Hey, Deborah Williams, I got my Easter lambs planner. Oh, oh, shoot up. Oh, piss. Now, it may, now I can't figure out where you was, baby. It just jumped again. Let me see if I can find you. Let me see if I can find you down here somewhere. Let's see. There you are. I got my Easter lambs planner, the pink tree, an Easter card in blue. Oh, just made my day. Well, Deborah, I'm so glad, honey. I am so glad. Whoop. See, I don't know what's making this thing. All right. Dana Grace says, the willow trees hold water and the bugs love it. Oh, okay. That's, I knew that they went to all kind of willow trees because we we tried several, several different places around here out front to get a willow tree to grow. And, I mean, they'll grow like crazy because we have underground springs here all underneath, but they, they can't stay alive. They'll get huge and big and pretty, and then they, the ants get in it and kill it. Classic old soul, what's happening, baby? Hey, Karen Ayol and Chrissy. It's so good to see all of y'all. <gasps> LaDonna, hallelujah. No cancer, but she has a mass in her twisted colon. Now, my granny had that. They can fix her twisted colon. Well, they fixed my granny's twisted colon, LaDonna. I'll tell you that. They are scheduling surgery, so I'll be heading back to Bama in the next few weeks. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Let me know when, and maybe we can plan a meetup while Gabby or uh, Cindy's here, depending on uh, what day you come. Well, you might not be, since it's surgery, you might not be able to uh, do nothing. But you just let me, but keep me posted on mom anyway. Please, LaDonna. So I'll continue to pray for her because she's facing that surgery. But I, I will tell you, and this has been years ago, and and they was able to fix my grannies. And that, Lord of mercy, she's been gone since Kelly was in junior high. So continue to pray for LaDonna's mom. I am so glad it's not cancer, though. Lord of mercy, Jesus, she is. Hey, Peachy Me. Hey, Felicia. Hey, Denise. Let's see. Oh, I blind lost my place again. Dad gum it. Well, I'm sorry. Dad gum it. I can't I can't keep up with this thing. Let's see. Hey, Lisa Stowe. Oh, uh, hey, I've got soul. According to the Googler, the ants are not what is killing your tree, but they are attracted to dead and dying wood, so they will move in and set up housekeeping. Gotcha. See, I think that lightning struck that tree one night because, I mean, it's it sounded bad. I'm almost sure it did. I mean, because it had a black thing going down the trunk. And what is Kelly doing? Kelly, are you in the chat? Yes, Kelly. Angela is here, baby. You just don't, she's just not active in the chat. She's here. She's been saying hi to me and everything. She is here. Why don't you, uh, why don't you, uh, 
message her and make sure, but I mean, I've seen her in the chat, baby. I do too. I hope everything goes well for her. Strong my jewelry lover. How are you, sweetie? Hey, Val. Happy Easter to you too, honey. Hey, Steph. It's good to see you, baby. I am going to do, I am going to do something. I'm going to be making jewelry. I'm going to be packing. I'm going to be doing something uh, with Miss Steph and Helen Monday night. When they do their little uh, work and chat thing. Work and chat thing. So, y'all need to tune into that. I can't remember what time. She sent me the StreamYard link, though. I got the StreamYard link, Steph. And I've got a post-it note over here so I don't forget. I might be a little bit late, but but I'll be there. Hey, Picasso Cat. Let's see. Hey, Sheila Putman. I know it. Isn't that wonderful news? Oh, my Lord, that's wonderful news about LaDonna's mama. Okay, Mom, I was just trying to check before we take showers. Okay, baby, that's fine. That's fine, love bug. You go ahead and take you. I'm surprised y'all ain't already passed out and in the bed. Hey, Maria, how are you? I hope, and can I ask y'all to please pray for sweet Maria, our friend here, empty nesting to Maria, Maria's husband. He's been having some health issues, and I would really, really appreciate y'all helping me pray for him as well, please. Because she is so sweet. She goes and supports all of us and everything, and she's worried to death about him as any of us would be. So um, if you could just please help me in. Praying for her husband. I'd appreciate it. Hey, Robin. Oop. Oh, thank you, Steph, you sweet angel. Can you give me? Rand and Molly. Oh, hey, Molly and Rand. How are y'all? Rand. Oh, happy Easter, everybody. What are you kids doing? Are y'all hunting eggs? Do y'all still hunt eggs? Lordy mercy, I hunted eggs till I, I, I tried to get them to hide eggs from me till I was in junior high school. I'm such a big baby. But hey, y'all, I hope y'all have a happy Easter. I'm not sure. I know your mama said that the Greek Easter is the same day as Cinco de Mayo this year, but I hope y'all are having fun today and doing something fun. And I hope all of y'all are feeling better. Lordy mercy, y'all have been so sick ever since the winter time. Y'all can't get over it. But I hope y'all are feeling better this weekend. I know you're I know you're tired, Kelly. You're okay, baby. Honey, Dana Grace, we'd, we, yeah, we would get treated to Taco Casa for sure after that. Let's see. Hey, Jen Weeks, it's good to see you, baby. Oh, I'm so glad. Whoop, see, I. If I miss you, I'm sorry. Hey, Hazel Atlas. Brenda Bat, how are you? Oh, I, I wish I had some little babies to color eggs for. I should just color them for Kelly and Mark and bring them up there. Oh, Ren, I love you too, baby. I love you so much, you sweet thing. And as a little, I'm I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm almost 100% sure that if it's okay with your mama, I think that Miss Pam might be able to come and I'm going to New Jersey in May. And on the way back home, I may be able to stop and see y'all. 
if it's okay with your mom and meet y'all and give you a big hug in person. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be something? Christy, I know you tried calling me before the sale, but I ain't, I ain't feeding your habit. I ain't feeding your habit. So I, you, you, I, ain't, I, I, ain't, I ain't about to play that game. Easter is far away from <laughs> Bless your heart. She is 12 years old on Tuesday. How can that be? Karina, how can that be? Oh, my stars. That don't even sound right. That don't even seem real. Good Lord, have mercy. I've just gotten used to seeing Milo look like a man. Oh my God, that's just crazy. That's just, that is just craziness now. Oh shoot, there it went. There it went. She, <laughs> oh yay, she's glad. Yay. Well, good. I will, uh, I'll message your mama and let her know exactly what day. It, I know it's, I know it's going to be the, the second half of May. I know that. But um, as far as the uh, exact day and everything, I'll be coming back home. I'm not I'm not sure of that. But um, but I'll let you know. I'll be messaging your mom and let y'all know. Let's see. Oh, Virginia. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be driving, baby. That's the thing about it. I'm not going to be driving myself. I have several bags of candy. To oh, how fun. Let's see. <laughs> Virginia, you were a mess. Hey, Mary Dugan. Yes. My Milo man is on the 13th. How old is he this year? Don't even, don't even tell me. Don't even tell me, Abby. Lord have mercy. He is. Mine and Milo's birthday's right together. Hey, Irish girl. Happy Saturday night to you too, sweet pea. Hey, Tammy Renee. Hey, Lenny. Oh, it's so good to see y'all. Tonight, I have... Yes, it depends on my limo driver, Patty. Um, hey, M Mary, how are you, sweet pea? Happy, happy Easter weekend to you, darling. Um, let me see. Oh, Milo will be thirteen. Milo is going to be thirteen. Is that no? Oh my God, he'll be sixteen in two weeks. Oh dear Jesus, sixteen. Is he already driving, Abby? Perish the thought. Perish the thought of it. Oh, my God. I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. No, he'll be 16 on the... Tw oh, my Lord. That is just too crazy. That is just too crazy. Well, now, now, which land is new? Let's see. I'll be a senior citizen on the 8th. <laughs> I've been a senior citizen, honey. They've been giving me free coffee at uh, McDonald's for 20 years. <laughs> okay, Virginia, I'll see about that, baby. I will certainly put, I will certainly run that through my limo driver. I will run that by her. Hey, Irish girl. Thank y'all all so much for being here and hanging out with me tonight. And I'm sorry that Kelly's not here. Well, yes, I'm doing some giveaways tonight, Angela. But I have no idea what they are. I have not picked them out yet. So I am going to put them in the bucket. I'm going to put everybody's name in the bucket. And then you will just be extremely surprised. The winners will be extremely surprised when they get their packages because I have no idea what they'll be. I will just have to pick them out sometime between now and Monday. That's all I know. Lamar Jeffrey, how in the world are you doing? And I have a date with Lamar Thursday. I will be kissing his sweet face Thursday. 
and I am excited, as excited as I can be. Hey, Lamar, Lamar, you know what? You get to see, you get, you're you going to get to meet, if you want to, Gabby and Cindy. They're both coming in April. And you know I'll be bringing them to the bear. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, Cheryl Cornette. How are you tonight, baby? Let's see who. Hi, Helen. No problem, baby. I'm just glad to see you here. Let's see. Oh, poot. It darn jumped again. Um. Who is, let's see. Doggone it, I've done lost my place now. Dee did her giveaway. Hey, Ramona. Dee did her giveaways with, I know, with trivia questions. Oh, hey, Dee, how are you tonight, baby? You had a fun sale today. I enjoyed your sale. I wasn't able to sit here during the whole time, but I had you on. I keep the speakers on so I can watch you. I mean, listen to you while I'm working. Let's see who else came in while I was over there. Let's see. Oh, Lenny's Moose. Did I say hey to you, baby? I'm sorry. Let me see. Hey, Suzanne Sharp. How in the world are you, darling? Hey, Martha. You missed half of her. <laughs> it was a good one. It was really good one. Hyper into bat. She is delightful, Brenda. She is she is the sweetest thing you've ever wanted to see. She is very sweet. Hey, Ariana. Oh, my God, Pam, I have tea. You have tea. Do you not normally have tea, baby? Ariana, do you not normally have tea? Are you are you very excited about the tea? What are you uh I <laughs> hey, hey, my sweet friends? <laughs> you were such a man. I love y'all to pieces. Okay, we're gonna get started and tonight. I have some of Tarnished Treasures' items to sell. And much to your delight, you will be happy to know that there was enough ephemera and things that she sent me for me to make two additional ephemera packs. Uh, crafting and, and scrapbooking, whatever you want to do with them. They're just ephemera packs. And she had enough stuff. We had enough stuff to that I could make her up two more Catherine Young, how are you tonight, baby? Jamie's sacred. Oh! Okay. Okay. If Ariana, Ariana, I want you. Can you can you bring me the tea after my sale? Can you bring me the tea after my sale? Okay. Let's see. What was I gonna say? Oh, we, and I have some very nice items tonight, I think. Some, not, uh, not everything will be in this. Not, well, I didn't get to do the preview. That's right. I was going to say not everything in the preview was it because I lost it. So there you go. I couldn't find it when I went to upload it, but I have, I did a preview, but anyway, I have some nice items coming for, for y'all tonight and a bunch from my personal collection. Hey, Prairie Stone. And, uh, like I said, the other things from 
the other things from Tarnished Treasures. So, anyway, I will... Hey, Elaine Lenny, how are you tonight? If y'all have any questions, you can put them in the chat, and I could try to uh, see and answer it. Or we have very good chatters here, so uh, everyone in the chat can help you or get my attention if I need to answer something for you. So, without further ado, we will get started. Mwah! And y'all better give me some thumbs up. I say 70, 70 thumbs up. And there is 160 people here. So we got it. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that, y'all. Okay, but we'll get started. Let's see. First up, we have this beautiful antique hat pin. This is one of the smaller hat pins. And I put it on this little. Oh, I'm sorry, Angela. This is starting off at $8, baby. $8. Hey, Hazel Atlas. Thank you for coming, honey. And this is for a little, it's, um, it's a pearl and rhinestone rondelle. I put, I bought a bunch of these little ends from Amazon because they were sticking me. So I put that, that's a new end. That's not an original end. But I put it uh, on this little thing so you could see it, this little um, handkerchief napkin thing. But these are, it's actually an old antique one. So this one is three and a quarter inches long. And it's just a sweet little thing to put them. I have some of them in, um, I use old sterling silver salt shakers and display these of mine in. No free DNA. <laughs> no, uh-uh. I see Patty in at eight. Catherine, it's so good to see you. I enjoyed your video yesterday. Well, I don't know if you put it out yesterday, but that yesterday's when I watched your last one. Well, aren't we fan? Yes, I'm just as fancy as I can be, Miss Virginia. We'll start the countdown on this one at 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Yeah, pretty sure, because see, the all of my hat pin holders are like four, the smallest, the smallest one I, well, no, I have a little Easter chick, like, or a little yellow chick that is like two or three inches tall. But other than that, all of mine are like four and five inches tall. And these just, they just stop. But you can get those, the perfect ones are the little, um, you know, the little sterling silver and silver plated ones that you find in a box or a bag together that, are like for individual place settings around a table. That's my that's my favorite ones to do. Patty G for eleven. Thank you, Patty, and thank you everybody else who bid on it. Patty G for eleven, and I'll put Patty G in the bucket. Bloop bloop bloop. Were hat pins for decor? No, baby. They they actually used them. They would keep them like their hairdo, you know what I mean? They would put them through their hat and kind of like strip them through their hair to hold them on. Or that's what I think they did. Bloop, bloop. Patty G. And let me put this right here with this. And I'll put you over here. And then up next, Angela, we have a piece, one of the ephemera packs from Tarnished Treasures. And it is starting off. I started the other one off last week at 20. So here's her sheet right here. Let's see. Yes, we're starting this off at $20. 20, 
$20 for Karina's Ephemera Pack. This is uh, going to be Ephemera Pack number two. Last week's was number one. Now, I'm not going to show you every single piece that's in this, but here, all right, here's the back. This is Ephemera Pack number two. And, but I will show you certain pieces out of it as I go along because I'll be here all night if I show you every single piece. Okay. First of all, now see, let me get it out and I'll show you. Look at all that. I mean, get, get, see, and there's still another one. There's There was enough to make a whole other one. All right. These are little um, Victorian lady or Ed, I think this is a, like an Edwardian lady. Greeting card, blank greeting card. Look at this old Valentine. This is like a homemade Valentine. Here's the note on the back. Not going to read it. I'm going to let y'all read it. A piece of Petty Point. Look at that. Oh, shoot. Upside down. A piece of Petty Point is in this one. I'm telling you, you just have no idea. A little felted bunny rabbit. Homemade little felt bunny rabbit. You know? All right. This, whole, this bag right here is full of Tim Holtz Christmas die cuts uh this one this one has two windows no this one has a window and a door and it has the little glass the little um faux glass piece in with it there's people die cut people there's all of the little um chipboard pieces there's this is full of christmas tim holtz die cut stuff just full. Absolutely full. The days of the year calendar. This has got this has got a little calendar on the bottom of it. You ain't even in your life. A breakfast menu from an old restaurant. Now, this is what I'm, I'm not going to go through and show you every single thing, but it does have, there was one more of these little sequin Santas. I put that in this pack. There's photographs. Um, Greeting cards, stickers, insects, all kind of thing. I mean, you just you just can't imagine. In that, and then this bag is full of Victorian and reproduction die cuts. Now, the reproduction ones, I will show you which what they look like. I know y'all know them, but they're still from the 80s, but they are like um this one right here. See this? That right there. This is, that is all that's in here is the die cuts. And, oh, and this little black and white picture of this man, because I didn't want him to get lost. I did stick him in there. But the rest of it is like die cuts and things like that. So you've got that. All of the Tim Holt stuff. And this bag is full. Look how thick it is. Two inches thick. And then all of this. So we will start the count. And this is ephemera pack number two. Start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and be at end. Let me see if anybody came in while I was. I know it, D. I know it. It's crazy. <laughs> Probably not, Stan. Probably not. I see Angela sold. And I didn't have a, a giveaway for Karina, so I'm going to put Karina's people in with me. And that's just how I'm going to do it. But uh, no, no, no. I will give Karina, no. I will put Karina separate. And y'all give, I'll, because I don't have anything planned for myself. So y'all would just be surprised with Karina's giveaway too. There you go. Bloop chair. So let's say, Lisa Hughes. Okay, Lisa, you're going in Karina's bucket. Lisa Hughes for 41. Thanks, Lisa. 
It's a good lot. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a beaut, Clark. It's a beaut. Okay, now you, Lisa, you went in Karina's bucket. And here, I'm putting this over here. Let's see what we got going on now. Oh, and see, look what I did. I'm going to do this right now because uh, Tarnished Treasures sent me a link to something, and I did it today. Angela, my next item starts off at $10. What did I do with that one? Never mind. Never mind. Hanky. Okay. And it is for this sweet little cup. This is an antique child's cup. It says, Oh, Mother Hubbard. Look at the sweet embossing on there. And there's Mother Hubbard. Her cupboard's just about bare. She's going in the cupboard. But looky here. Tarnished Treasure sent me a little thing where this lady on Instagram was tying vintage handkerchiefs in bows and putting them on her cups, her vintage and antique looking little cups. And honey, I just couldn't stand it. And I came in here and I just found me a, a hanky and I put it on there. So I am just loving it. But this has the sweetest. This is that jadeite green that's coming all around this little cup. And then there's the sweetest embossing. See all that embossing? Oh, I just love these old antique cups with this on here. But let me try to hold it still so you can see old Mother Hubbard. It is just wonderful. Oh my God, hey Lenny. Logan, are you going to be in Bedford? Shut your mouth. Are you serious? Well, honey, I'm going. I'm coming with bells on. Me and Ariana's going to be headed that way. That we're bringing the South with us. We're we ready or not. Here we come. But I don't say, say oh yeah, I do say uh, Prairie Stones in for this. So we'll start the countdown at 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Yep, Patty's going to. Booked her room yesterday. See, I can't stand it. Sarah Lee, really? Oh, you'll have so much fun. Now, Misty is the most wonderful person. She is the sweetest. Um, she would give you the shirt off, off her back. And I, I just can't wait. It, she, she is just, it's, and the trouble she is going to and the work she is putting in to put this thing on, it's just unreal. So I, I appreciate y'all putting forth the effort because I know it's, a, it's, it's an effort to go to something like that because I know it's an effort for me to do it. So, are you going to, Angela? Woohoo! She just accepted a job offer in Ohio. Who? Who accepted a job offer in Ohio? Oh, Cindy. Okay. I will be moving my youngest that weekend. Oh, whoo. But at least she'll be closer to you, honey. Sarah Lee, I have to. Yep, I have too. I haven't been following her and Alex both. I have been following both of them since before they ever even start, started thinking about doing live sales. Oh, Dee, I wish you could too. Yep, Lammy's going to be there. My Lammy's going to be there. Please bloop bloop me. I'm bloop blooping you, honey, Prairie Stone. Prairie Stone. Doggone it. I forgot to even. $12. $12 Prairie Stone. Here you are, Prairie Stone. You're bloop blooping in my bucket. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. 
Okay, number nine goes to Prairie Stone. Thank you so much, my sweet love. And I'm going to leave this on here. I'm just going to wrap it up like that. I'm just going to wrap it up with that on there like that. Okay, next up we have something from my Sweet Tarnished Treasures. Let me get my thing back up here so I can follow. Because see, that's why I messed up. I didn't have my chat just right. BOC153, how are you? BOC153, I think you're new to me, honey. Welcome. Yes, Pam, it's less than five hours away, and it's my weekend, so I plan on going. Yay! Oh, honey, I'm so glad to get to see you again, too. Okay, my next piece is for Tarnished Treasures. Let me see. Let me get her sheet up here, and it is. Let me see what this one starts off at. This is going to start off. Which one is this? 22? At $12, Angela. And it is for one of her skull magnets now this one is very different you know usually she makes the um the face kind of white like inside this one is like a gunmetal color it's not like a it's it's a black looking but it's like a it's more like a dark gray gunmetal color I, I don't know how to explain it any better than that and here's the cs that she puts on the back and for those of you who um, who don't know or heard new here, Tarnished Treasures makes these by hand. She's an art teacher by trade, you know, and she, well, she's an artist, period. She can do all kinds of things. But she actually made the little um, stamp that she creates the skull out of, and she makes each one of these by hand. And with this, you're getting one of the little shamrock picks. This one is the one of the ones with the little leprechaun hat on it. So you're getting both. And it's starting at $12. Jeffrey from Yeah, I started watching Jeffrey the same time I watched Misty. Date, no, he's not on anymore. He 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 hasn't been on in about three years. He was off already when COVID hit. I know it, Vintage Velociraptor. I love watching her videos. I have to save them up and watch them like when I'm uh, on the weekends. Usually I watch her videos on Sunday afternoons. Dave, uh, Blue Bus Dave D. Remember Blue Bus Dave? He was from up on the East Coast. Do you, you don't remember him, D? Oh, I miss him so much. He was just really cool guy. He did flea markets, like he sold at flea markets. He, uh, I think he did a lot of house cleanouts, and then he sold at flea markets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is there any interest in the, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ariana, what happened to him. He he just he just really just just disappeared. There was no explanation of where he went or anything. He just yeah, he just stopped doing videos. You think he bought a farm, Sarah Lee? That that sounds right. Well, I'll put this back in case. Oh, there's Patty. Hey, Patty. How are you, baby? Patty Crane's in at 12. So we'll start the countdown on this one at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Oh, somebody just mentioned that on his feed. Okay. Okay. But even his old videos aren't still up, are they? Patty Crane, you got that, baby, and you are going in Karina's bucket. Patty Crane, going in Karina's. And Patty Crane, that's Patty for... 
screen for $12. Thank you so much, darling. Put this back in the back. Okay. Let's put this over here. Okay, y'all get ready because this one, this one is hurt a little bit. Angela, my next item, excuse me, starts off at $45. And it is for this antique sterling silver hat pin. This thing is, let's see. It is 12 inches, well, 11 and 7, 16, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11 and 3 quarters inches long, 11 and 3 quarter inches long, and here's the detail on it, and just to give you an idea about how big this head is, there you go. It is, the head on this pen is two and three quarter inches long, and it is an inch wide. And there you go. And it is almost 12 inches long. And it is so beautiful. I just absolutely love it. I have several, not this long, but I I'm just trying to to clear to to thin my collections out a little bit because I can't display everything all the time. So what I've decided to do is just get it down to my three cabinets, what I can display in my three cabinets. So I can keep my stuff that I love out all the time. You know what I mean? That makes the most sense to me. Hey, Sabrina, how are you, baby? Miss Pamela, are you burnt? No, honey, that's a Bed Bath & Beyond. I can't afford Harry Slatkin unless I find him at a, a state sale. We will start the countdown on this piece at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. I wish I could, I wish I could afford a Harry Slack. And that that is hands down. Now Kelly thinks nest. Is the best smelling candles in the world. I think Harry Slatkin is the best smelling candles in the world. I see Angela sold. And I will wait and let her tell me um, who got it. Moose, Renee. Paper Moose, Cindy. Paper Moose is the girl that's friends with Taco Stacks, she has a channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Who did she say got it? Patty G. Yay. Thanks, Patty. And thank you, everybody else. It, it makes it easier selling my things if I know they're going to some of y'all who love them. And um, because I just made a promise to myself that I was going to thin things out so I could display a little piece of everything I had. It just makes more sense to do it that way. And Kelly, I'm sure, will be ecstatic over it. Hey, Susan Lynn. Thank you so much, Patty. And thank you, everybody who bid on it. Pam, I treasure the thing. I know you do, sweetie. I know all of y'all do. And that's why it's not, it's not hard for me. Have you, Dee? See, because I can't, like, like the other day, I have always collected vintage toys and old toys. Well, I lost a tote that had all of my 10 litho toys in it. 
Well, you know, that wouldn't be a problem if I if I had my the ones I liked the, or loved the best, just two sets of them in my cabinet over there or something. It's just it's just ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Yes, what good are they in a box? There you go, Gabby. Exactly. QVC has deals every once in a while. Oh, do they really do that? Not uh, QVC sells Harry Slacken. I did not know that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm hmm, that's good to know. Good to know. Okay. Oh, you have you Susan? I'm sorry. I didn't even know. We forgot Pluto. Hey, darling. I am doing wonderful, Pluto. I hope you are as well. And happy Easter to you, baby. Crazy Maze, how are you tonight? It's good to see you and happy Easter to y'all too. She said, yes, that's all. See, I did not know that. Well, that's good to know. I'll have to check into that then. Well, see, that's what I, I want everything to be displayed. I want everything that I have to be displayed so I don't have to worry about finding it when I want it. Miss Pat, I received my hat pin yesterday. Oh, good. <coughs> I'm so glad, Patricia. Okay, let me get back on this. Let's see what we got. What have I got else of? Let's see. Oh, I better do this other one before I forget. We're going to do the uh, second the second bag of ephemera for Tarnished Treasures. Let me uh, get this. is going to be ephemera pack number three. Now, this will be the last one because I divided everything out. I just sat over there on the floor and divided everything out. Uh, let me see. Yes, ephemera pack. Number three, and we're starting it at $20, Angela. $20 on ephemera pack number three. And this is ephemera pack number three from Tarnished Treasures. And this is another, I mean, it's another goodie. I will show you the big stuff first. Okay. There's old prescription uh, pads in here, pieces out of pads. Uh, this one has an old letter, multi-page handwritten letter. It has some of the uh, insect stickers, some of these colonial recipes, the Halloween stickers, the bugs and insects, old stamps. This one has a, I think this is a lotto or some kind of game card. It has the... Uh, all of the negative, you know, photographs, negatives, the two by threes, all kind of little die cut pieces. This one has a seed packs, another handwritten envelope full of stuff, postcards. This one has the black and white photo ends or edges. This one has the little dime saver from the bank, Merry Christmas stock and dime saver. Uh, more more old stamps, spider webs for Halloween. This one has an old tag, Frosted, Frosted Flakes tag. This one has a note from 1947, handwritten note. There are some of the bunnies in here. Cabinet cards. Hotel postcards, prescriptions. An old farmhouse with notations on the back. Uh, a cabinet card, an empty cabinet card that you can put a photo in. Cabinet card sleeve. Postcards. Labels, gummed labels. More blank prescriptions. A letterhead. A valentine. A Christmas card. Two more little rabbits. 
a bag full of the Tim Holtz. This is as close to exactly like I had the other one. The only difference in this one and the other one is, though, this one has a window and a door, I believe. No, this one has two windows. And so you get two pieces of the little stank, the little wired glass looking in here. But uh, I, then all of the Tim Holtz stuff is Christmas related. All of the Tim Holtz, and look at there, it's, it's slammed full of Tim Holtz. And also you get this with all of these. There's price tags in here, die cuts, the, uh, what am I saying? Negatives, the photo negatives. Victorian die cuts, some of the 1980 reproduction die cuts, labels, little price tags, everything. Plus, you get this big piece in here. This is a trade piece. The Philadelphia Shoe Store, 226 Market Street, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So, that is in this big bundle. I don't think she even knew how much ephemera she, there was enough to make three of these. One I sold last week and then um, I had enough to do these two. But as I put it back together, I'm going to kind of show again what I had in here. These little rabbits are just adorable. Somebody had to have made that. Yeah, they're handmade. Look there. I think that is so sweet. Pam, see Irish Girls info about comments above. Irish Girl. What? Harry Slacken. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much, Irish Girl. I have to check that out. But we'll start the countdown on this uh, lot at 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. This is a lot of stuff in these two. I mean, a lot of stuff. Let me put that in here before I lose it. I'll put a stamp in there. I see Angela sold. Let me get this in here. This is ephemera pack number three. Pluto, we use dollars, US dollars, baby. Tammy Renee is drooling. <laughs> She's a nut. Uh, let's see. So to Gabby for 55. Gabby, thank you. And thank you, everybody else who was bidding on it. Let me put Gabby in C's box. Bucket, I mean. Gabby Lish, you're going in Karina's. We don't know what you're getting yet, but you're going to get a treat. Gabby Lish going in Karina's bucket. Oh, you're welcome, sweet baby. I don't know if we can accept. I'm I don't know if we can accept. What what country are you in, Pluto? We've forgotten Pluto. What country are you in, baby? That's Karina's right there, number three. Aren't those and uh, Pretty Pansy's got the one from last week, but hers is not going to be delivered until Monday. I was going to get her to try and kind of tell you um, what they're like when you actually get them and look through them, but hers is England, so we use pounds. Well, um, I sell to England, but I think the shipping's pretty bad. Uh, the shipping to Canada, they do a simple export rate, but I don't think they offer that for England. But I'm going to check into that. I'm going to check into that and see if they um if they'll do a simple export rate for 
They do, Steph? They do do that for England? <gasps> well, that's good to know. I don't know how much it is. I know it's like $14.99, $12.99, $14.99, and $16.99, depending on the pound breaks to Canada. I do know that. But I don't know how it works out for England. Okay. All right, that was C's. All right, let me get something. Okay. Here's another one of my little treasures I'm getting rid of. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm giving it, I'm rehoming it. I am rehoming another one of my treasures. And Angela, this one is starting off at $25. Let me write this down. Okay. And it is for this beautiful little flapper doll with her crepe paper dress on. Is she not adorable? Look at this head full of gold hair. Look at the back at the little ribbon. And it is still all intact and everything. Her little dress. There's her little body under there all intact and her little feet aren't broken or anything. And I'm going to hold her out. Now, she, when I, I put little, um, when, when I display these, I put tissue paper. That's what I'm trying to say. Underneath their dresses. So their dresses kind of stand out and it helps them to stand up better. They do stand on their own. But I will tell you that if you put a little bit of tissue paper up under here, just make a little roll, make a little snake, and then put it up underneath here and kind of around her butt part, it'll make the little dress stand out and they'll stand up on your shelf so much better. But here she is. Her dress is like an apricotty, pinky, dusty, rosy color. Like a dusty, rosy color. And the trim on it is a Faded, faded gold. I don't know how it's coming across on your screen, but. Oh, Pluto, I told you this is a sweet, sweet, sweet bunch. The dress is not torn um, or anything. The, the ribbon is still not. It is like, it is all wonky like this because I've had her laying. I wrap them in vintage handkerchiefs and had them laying in a, uh, lined up in a shoebox. That is why it's like this because it was, it was, um, but it'll fall out a little bit. But see how you can, and I can hold it like this and you can see that it's not ripped or torn anywhere. It is just, she is just so, and look at the color still on her, how much color she still has on her head. She is adorable. Oh, I didn't even tell you how big she is. I think she's a six inch, but I'm not, make sure. She is right, she's about five and three quarters, five and three quarters inches. But we'll start the countdown on her and her sweet self. Her little arms are articulated. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I think she's from the 20s, uh, Patty. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and bid end. She's five. <laughs> She's five. Yeah. I see Angela sold. See, this is the one I had a wrap. This is how I do. I put them in here. Like I put them in a vintage hanky to keep their dresses all together. And then I tie a ribbon around them. Most of the time, old Siri, Siri ribbon or something. Sorry, ribbon. You know what I'm talking about. Rhonda Buckingham. Thank you, baby. And thank you, everybody else who bid on her. Rhonda Buckingham for 30. Number 11. I'm so glad she's got a good home. She will be so sweet. 
she will love you. Okay, I'll put her over here. And then, okay. Next up, I'm not even <laughs> What'd she say? What are you? I'm not even joking, Lisa. That's really my favorite color. It is her favorite color. She's not even joking. Mr. L. Page in the house. What's happening with your good looking self? In my nation, we play, we pay with hugs. Are such a nut, Randy. I love you to pieces. Happy Easter weekend to you, sweet pea. Thank you for coming too. All right, Angela, my next item starts off at $18, baby. Oh, P.S. $18. And I got to put Rhonda in my bucket. Rhonda Buckingham. I'm happy to see you too, Barbara. Thank you so much for coming. Mr. L. Page, I'm happy to see you too, baby. Hey, Heather Elizabeth. How are you tonight, baby? Hippity hoppity, baby. Did I say what this was starting at? Yes, $18. And it is for this vintage card of Jingle Bells, Christmas Jingle Bells. That's another thing. Y'all might as well get ready for it because I'm going to be bringing a little bit of vintage Christmas in all of my sales from now until Christmas time. So there you go. And this little knee hugger who's not hugging anymore. Little pixie elf. Now, I don't know what. He's a biggie. Let's see how big he is. Let me measure him. He is a... Nine inch with his head, ten and a half inches with his hat. So nine inches to here. I'm chucking along. <laughs> but his let his um he hugs, but he don't have a little, he don't have the little velcro part. You know what I'm saying? He don't have the velcro part. One of my favorite is the color of calamine lotion. <laughs> So this is the little lot you're bidding on. The little elf. And he his he does not still have his little made in Japan sticker. He just um he just is he's just as sweet. He's just as sweet. Oh band-aid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, and Gabby has, okay, I have got uh, Tarnished Treasures YouTube channel linked in the description below. But also, Gabby, I couldn't put the link in for whatnot, but if Kelly is here, she can do it. Or if Angela has time, she will do it and put in Gabby's link for whatnot. She has a whatnot sale on April the 2nd, and you don't want to miss it because it is ephemera. Antique postcards and Gabby, what else do you have? Um, I know it's all ephemera and it's four o'clock central time. That means it is three o'clock, four o'clock central. That means it is three o'clock. You have everything three o'clock Eastern. No, no, hell no, no, no. It's 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. Get with the program, Pam. And it'll be 3 o'clock Mountain Time. I, I can do this. Sulking Room Pink by Farah and Ball, if you like the cow. <laughs> Sulking Room Pink. 2 o'clock Pacific. That's right, baby. Farah and Ball. I've never heard of them. Thank you, Angela. There's the link to Gabby's Whatnot uh, site if you want to follow her because she has been killing it on Whatnot and having some very good sales with some very 
unique and beautiful items. Gabby says it's expensive paint. <laughs> Lamar, what are you needing to paint, baby? Okay, I don't see any interest in the elf and the um, bell, so we will put that back and bring it in another time. That is no problem. Band aids and calamine lotion. You did? Oh, you just like the color. Gotcha. She does have good mystery boxes, Patty. She sure does do that. Let me see what else we're going to get going over here, y'all. What else can we get into? Let's do something of Karina's, okay? And here, let's see. This is Karina's number three. My next, this is Karina's. And it is starting off at $24, baby. $24. Angela, will you put, please put the link to your channel in the chat so people can go and see you opening your mystery box from Gabby, please? Oh, you didn't get a mystery box, did you? You just got ephemera, right? This is from Tarnished Treasures, and it's starting off at $24. And it is, as always, beautiful. Now, this me, Karina, Ariana, we all like stuff like this. Now, this is not in pristine condition by no means. It is old and um, aged, and, and we just love it. This is a handmade doily, and it is showing its age, as you can see. But that is just fine with me because the more age to it, the better. Okay, look at that beauty. And with this, you get this amazing shoe clip buckle, and it's monogrammed. Hold on, let me make sure I got it right. This is, look at that. I'm thinking that this is at least Victorian, if not Georgian. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning by this, the font. And the way this monogram is done, that this is Georgian. Now, Ariana, you can help me out here, baby, if you would, and, and say what you think. But, I mean, look at that. Do you not think that, that's, that that is from the early 1800s? I just, I just really think it is. Because, see, that's not a, I just don't think, and it's sterling, yes. I'm sorry, it is sterling. Here's the mark. I was meant to show the mark first. There's the sterling mark right there on the back. Hey, Heidi, how are you doing? But I am almost certain that this is Georgia. Almost, almost certain. But she paired these two together, these two items together. And so I left it that way, how she had it paired together. But let me again show you the, um, uh-oh, show you the monogram. And then here is the sterling mark on the back. It is on the little hook part right there of the shoe clip. No, I believe this is a belt buckle. I believe this is the opposite side of a belt buckle. I don't believe this is a shoe clip. This is a belt buckle. It looks like my great auntie's teddy. Yes. I mean, look at this, how beautiful, how beautifully it's done. So you're getting both pieces. You're getting, yes, this is a buckle. I'm sorry. I, I know I probably, because see, there's the part where the ribbon goes through. See right there? I don't know why I said shoe clip, because I knew better. What are the hallmarks? It's it's not hallmarks, baby. It just says sterling. See it right there? I don't see any hallmarks on it. It just says sterling. 
But we'll start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. You think it's late 1800s? Maybe so, but golly bum, this is not a, that sure is an older looking, that sure is an old looking, uh, but of course they could have used any kind of script they wanted to in any kind of, but that is, that's something else I'm telling you. So did Patty G for 75. Thanks, Patty. Patty, Patty. Thank you so much, girl. Uh-oh. That goes with the elf. Patty G, 75. Okay, thank you so much. It is, it was. Yep. I had saved that that one till this week. You know how it is if you uh I think that sterling mark started in around 1907, but you're not positive. Okay, baby. Could it be something clipped at the top of a woman's blouse? You could do it now, but that's not what it was used for when it was made. It was actually made as a belt buckle. Oh, I know, Susan Lynn. Wouldn't you love to be able to know? Okay, next up is another uh, little set out of my collection. And it is starting off at $15, Angela. I mean, it's, it's very intricate. That's what it looks like, a Georgian monogram. But that don't mean that they couldn't have made it when they did, you know. And let me get this over here. Hang on just a minute. Okay. It is for this Ohio art. Let me see if I've got one with it on there. I don't have not one single one with it on there, I don't think. Anyway, it's Ohio art. Uh, blue and white, 10 litho tea set. And it has, let me count the pieces first. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten pieces or ten litho pieces. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five plastic pieces. Now, this is two separate sets, but I put them together because of them being blue and white. So here you have your like a big food platter that you would use with your tea set, two smaller saucers. And then all of these little beady plates. You've got this. You've got two little Dutch girls on these. And then this one has the little Dutch couple. And then you've got three. Let's see. You've got a sugar bowl. And you've got two little cups, 10 litho cups. You've got the little canister that says tea on it. And then you have the blue, little blue willow teapot, a little creamer, one, two, three cups and three cups. So you have all of these pieces, whoops, sorry, in a tin litho. Oh, I know it, Tarnished Treasures. Huh, Lynn Fogel says she's a dangerous bidder. Okay, I don't see any interest in the tea set, so we will put it, unless I'm, let me go back up here and see. Nope. So I will put that under here and put it over here to the side. 
let's see. Okay, and then we'll move on to something else. The next one. Okay, Angela, my next item starts off at $12. Dang it. $12, baby. Oh, Robin got it. Okay, I'll go ahead and do the countdown on the little blue and white tea set. Since Robin bid on it. And was 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, hey, Nanny, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. I did, Patty. I blooped you in Karina's bucket. I see Angela sold, and Robin, you're getting the, you are getting the blue and white uh, 10 Litho tea set, baby. $15. Robin, come here. Robin, 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 and hold on just a second. Let me bloop you in my basket. In my basket. Oh, Karina. Patty, you know what she's talking about, don't you? With the candles on it. Bloop, bloop. You went in my bucket, baby. Okay. All right, Angela, start back over again. We're going on. Uh, this is starting out at $12. $12. My next item starts off at $12. And it is for this new old stock set of birthday party candles. Look at these little cowboys. It's got the 29 cent sticker up here on the top. It's got this birthday party candles. They're by the Girly Candle Company. Oh, let me turn. Girly Candle Company, Buffalo, New York. And it says to insert a toothpick in the base of the candle and place on your cake or candles may be placed directly in the frosting. Birthday party candles. Look, the box, I mean, can you get over? But I'm going to have to go ahead and sell these right now because I can't wait till it gets hotter here or it will, uh, or it will, it'll be danger, too much danger for them to melt. But usually when I get this stuff with the cellophane on here, I have to always replace the cellophane because it's always torn up. This one was not. Look at those little cowboys in there. Is it not? I mean, how adorable are they? And they're pretty good size, too. Let's see how. Let me see if I can measure them through this paper. Because they stand up. They're two and a half inches tall. That's pretty good. But there's three blue ones and two yellow ones. And they are just adorable. Just adorable. Five party birthday candles. And then let me show you the back again so you can see it's the girly. And I haven't opened them so I don't know if they've got the little girly sticker on the bottom like the other ones do. But, you know, you've got the box so it says it on the box. But they're definitely not. And we'll start the countdown on these at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and be at end. I think these are so stinking adorable. I'll wait for Angela's. Um, tell me who got them. I see her so. Abby! Oh, my word! Yay, Abby! Thank you so much, baby. They are adorable. They are adorbs. Oh, 
Okay, up next we have three sets of the same thing. They are all identical, but and they're going to be straight claim items. Let me move C's. Oh, hold on. Got to put Ab Abby in my bucket. Abby. Milo will be mortified. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay. These are all, there's three sets of these. And so three people can get them or one person can get three or what, it, you know how it works. But they are going to be straight claim items. They are going to be $10 a set. And they are for these sets of four crystal and silver plated. I don't know how to say this. Toll. I don't know if it's toll or toll. T-O-W-L-E coasters. Let me see where it's marked at. Let me see. There it is. If I can get it around. Well, dead gummit. Where did it? There. Can you see it right there? No, this is Leonard. Leonard Italy Silver Plate. Hey, Joanne Johnson. How are you? Uh-oh. So there's four of them. They're going to be $10 a set. And you can just put in number 18 if you want one. Put in number 18 if you would like a set for $10. There are four. Leonard Silver Plate. So I see Dan Hey, Danielle. Danielle Klein gets a set. Does anybody else want a set? Or Danielle, would you like one more than one set, baby? I guess I should ask that first. D, bye, honey. I hope you have so much fun with that baby in your family tomorrow, darling. And I love you to pieces. Mwah. Just one set, please. Okay. Danielle gets one set for number 18. Would anybody else like a set? $10 for four uh, silver plated and, oh, shoot, and crystal coast, coasters. Here they are. Wait a minute, what's her? Get a listener. Let me see. Hold on just a minute. Oh, that's talking about Karina's. Well, I guess it hid it from you, Tortoise Treasure, so I don't know why it would. I thought you, anybody could put it in. Cindy, will you put it in there for her if it's okay with her to do it? Okay, so I'll put these other two back here. If anybody's watching the replay and you would like to purchase anything that has not been claimed during the live sale, you can just email me and let me know or put a uh, comment in the comments of the replay on this video and I'll see it and reply to you and let you know if it's still there or not. I know, but Cindy's, oh, okay, well, Cindy will do it for her. Yeah, she just did. Cindy just put her email in there. Thank you, baby. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, let's do another of the antique hat pins. Let's see what this one is. Uh-oh. Yes, thank you, Cindy. This one is number 16. Cindy, are you counting the days till you come? I am. Up next is another ant, one of my uh, hat pins from my collection. This one has the pearlized pink with the rondelle at the top. It is in really good conditions. And I've cleaned them. I've cleaned them also. 
I cleaned um, the shaft on all of them that I'm selling tonight. This one is four and a quarter inches long. And it is just so pretty. See? Four and a quarter inches long. Oh, I'm sorry. And it's starting off at $12. Lord have mercy. Starting off at $12. I'm sorry, Angela. I didn't even tell you what the start was. But it's one another one for my collection. And it's the antique um, little hat pins. These little, they used a lot of these little uh, rondelles with the rhinestones in them. And it's kind of, see that pearly look to it? That I just love that little milk glow look. Cindy said, you better believe it. <laughs> okay, I don't see any interest in this one. So we can put it to the side and come back to it if we need to. Oh, wait, Maggie Sue. Hi, Maggie. How are you? I see Maggie Sue in at 12. So we will start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And be at end. Happy Easter weekend to you, Maggie So, you sweet angel. I see Angela So, so that means that went to Maggie. Let me put you in my let me put you in the bucket first, Maggie. You're going in the bucket, Maggie, and you got that pen for twelve dollars, baby. I can, I still call you Maggie Sue. I don't know why, but let's say $12, Maggie. Thank you so much, baby. Okay. All right, we're going to do a piece of Tarnished Treasures just real quick. Let's see which this one is. This is number 12 for Karina. Let's see. Okay. Angela, this, this next little lot for Karina is starting off at $18. $18. Hey, DJ. How are you, sweetie? I haven't seen you in forever. Well, I see you. Uh, I kind of see you in uh, the comments on Karina's videos and stuff. But it's good to see you, baby. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, and again, this is a lot from Karina, and it's starting off at $18, and it is one of her oyster shells. And she, on this one, she has made a, uh, she has placed a cut crystal earring, vintage earring. And then up here in the top, she's put like a little, um, it's like a little bird brooch. But she's made it look, it's like, looks like a little nest up there. She's got rhinestones going all around the outside of it. And I'm sure those are rhinestones off of a vintage um, necklace. She repurposes vintage jewelry that she finds um, in thrift stores and at the flea market and stuff. Excuse me. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And with it, you also get, what? The, oh, there it is. You also get this vintage sterling silver and turquoise necklace that has the star on it. It's got just a turquoise star. And it's sterling silver. And it's like this. They call this liquid silver. It's the little like bugle beads of sterling silver. Thank y'all so much. Bless you to the moon, Randy, you sweet angel. And it's got the little barrel clasp. So you get both of these are in this lot. Thank y'all so much. 
I'm trying to get that ring out of the way so you can see the star, but it won't. See, it's got all those little chips in it. And then the back of it is just Mark Sterling, but you can't see it. And it's got little beady. It's just like little beady, um, little beady little bugle beads all the way around. So you get both of these in this little lot. Thank y'all so much for all the blessings. I see Ramola at 18. Uh-oh, wait a minute. She just turned six months old. That's hard to believe. Oh, oh my God. All right, we'll start the countdown on this uh, little lot from Karina at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and be at end. I think these are so pretty. That just adds a little pop of anything, you know? And life's too short not to be good to yourself and put pretty things out so you can enjoy them. That's one reason why I'm starting to do my, this so I can have all the stuff that I love the most out where I can see it all the time. I am so glad to hear that, DJ. Yeah, it is. Me and Kelly had a rough start too, honey. The first six months of her life. Oh, my God. That was that child had the colic. For a full six months. It was awful. I know I've told y'all before, but it took if it wasn't for my sweet mama and my daddy, I don't know what we'd have done. Oh my God. Because I were I, we had to work in shifts. She would not. Oh Lord. It was awful. Ramola, you got that for $18. Thank you so much. Eighteen dollars, number twelve. Ramola, eighteen. Ramola in. Let me put you in C's bucket. We don't know what the giveaways are going to be this week, but we're you're gonna you're gonna be as surprised as I am. I can tell you that right now. But they'll be good. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna send you a lump of coal. Ramola in. Twenty-three. Sorry, I couldn't see the other bed. I don't know what you're talking about, baby. All right, hold on a minute. Oh, I see. I see. I got you. 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 I caught up to y'all. I bet you when I send Karina copies of this sheet and all my chicken scratch and mess all over, I bet she thinks, good God almighty, that girl. I mean, you know what I mean? I bet she thinks, my God. Okay. Oh, I brought these. Okay. Y'all know I'm a sucker for kids or anything, but. All right. Let's see. I. I did, you know, our library, our, I support our public library down here. Well, they have what's called Friends of the Library. And you go down there and you buy things. And what that was this month was for, to build up the, buy new books for the children's area of the library, the public library. So anyway, I did. So I'm passing them on to y'all. Here we go. These are going to be straight claims. They're going to be $5 a piece. And so here we go. This is Fairy Treats, a Magic Bean Story. This is one of those hard chipboard books. And it says, let's see if it says age. It doesn't. 
But these are the girls from the Butter Beans Cafe. And it is $5 and it is number one. $5 number one. For the Fairy, fairy Treats, a Magic Beans book. And then we have, uh-oh. Deborah, thank you, baby. And I don't think you're in my bucket yet. Let me make sure. Nope. I'm just going to put Deb Williams. Let me, let me get you in my bucket. Bloop, bloop. Yep. Deb Williams. Going in pounds bucket. Okay, Deb. Let's see. Deb got that one. The next one is Lena of Vegetopia and the Miss Miss and the Mystery of the Missing Animals. Now, this is one of those. This this book won some kind of award. I forget what it is. But this is a very good story. I did read this one. It is. Just look at the, <laughs> I love this book. Um. This one is also $5, and it is number two. $5, number two. And these will go media mail. Um, Patty Crane, thank you, baby. And the kids down at the library will thank you, too, because I just buy them, and then I just pass them on to y'all, and y'all help me out with it. But they, they need some new books. And it's in, our library is in an area of town, or close to an area of town that has a lot of lower um, income families. And so um, the library, the public library is usually the only place that they have access to good reading material. So I like to support them when I can. Patty, you are going in my bucket and here you go, Patty Crane. Bloop, bloop, Patty. Patty, Patty. Boop. And then the last one tonight is The Snowman Song, A Christmas Story. This is a really touching story. Um, I have this book in my book collection. And it is it is just a really sweet, beautiful story for Christmas time and hope and, and love and everything. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Let me just show you some of that. I wonder if I can read it to you without crying. I mean, read this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. This one comes with the CD with it. Um, a forlorn little snowman hopes, prays, and yearns with all his heart for a beautiful melodic voice so he can rejoice by singing Christmas carols like the human children do. There is little hope that he will ever have a voice because the snow world is quiet and snow people communicate by sensing thoughts and feelings that travel as ice droplets in the swirling cold winter air. But when a cheery red cardinal renews his hope and a kind young girl brings him a gift, a Christmas miracle happens and the little snowman realizes his longed for dream in a powerful, joyful, unexpected way. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. $5 and Snowman is number three. Number three. MJ. Hi, hey, MJ. Happy Easter to you, baby. MJ Bear gets the snowman. And let me put you in there. And thank y'all for doing that. If I, and since y'all like them, the next time they have one of those sales, I'll, I'll pick up some more so um, I can share them with y'all. Because they always have beautiful, beautiful, nice books. And um, they're usually not, they're, they're just nice. I, I just love them. Story, good stories of hope and, and joy and things like that. Yeah, the library, it employs a lot of people here. It sure does. Let's see. Um, what else was I going to do? What time is it? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let me. Okay, next up, we've got a little spring box lot. 
And this, let's see, Angela, this little spring box lot is starting off at $15, baby. $15 on the spring box lot. And in this little spring, you're going to get the little box too. It's a little magnetic shutting box. And it says all the good things on the front of it. And it just shuts up like this. Oh, the Easter Bunny does come tonight. Hey, Danny, how are you tonight? And inside here, you're going to get a little lot of things. You're going to get this vintage handkerchief. You are going to get this little button card with these vintage buttons sewn on it. They're mother of pearl carved buttons that I've sewn on there. You're going to get this little cracked egg, little vase, a little cracked egg vase. You're going to get this little brass jewelry casket, and there'll be a little piece of vintage jewelry hidden inside there when you get it. And you're getting three little white ceramic animals. You're getting a pig. I'm doing great, Danny. How are you? You're getting the duck. And you're getting a little chick, a little baby chick. So you're getting three of the little white animals, a little button card, a little um, brass jewelry box with a little, um, or just trinket box, but you'll get a little surprise piece of jewelry in there. And you're getting a cracked egg. Just a little, little spring little box. Oh, and the sweet little vintage handkerchief. And we'll start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and be at end. I love these little boxes. And FYI, if you will go to you, if you have a Dollar General near you and go now, you need to go because this size last year was $3. This size and the little square one, let me show you the other, are a dollar. I don't know if they made a mistake. I don't know what, but the stickers on them are a dollar on the bottom. Of this size, and this is pretty good. I mean, this is what, 12 inches long? It's 11 inches long and three and a half inches wide. You know, that's a pretty good box for a dollar. And it's got the magnetic closing on it. Homeschool Lou. Happy Easter to you, Homeschool Lou. And thank you so much. Homeschool Lou. And let me get you in the, bo in the bucket, baby. Homeschool Lou. There you are, homeschool Luke. Sarah, we don't have Dollar General in Seattle. Oh, snot. Well, I wish I could, I wish I could uh send you some, but or if you want to pay me to send you some, I will. But anyway, they're cute as they can be. See, they got let me show you the other size. Oh, I don't have it in here, do I? No, nope, I didn't make another one. Anyway, they got another, they have all different kinds of sizes. Okay, homeschool Lou, I'll put you in the bucket. Okay, I got two more things of tarnished treasures. We're going to do this one. Let's see, Angela, what number is this one? Number four, let's see. Angela, this next piece starts off at $14. $14. And this is for another one of her oyster shells. This one has... A pretty little butterfly. I bet this was a pin that she put on here. Two little, uh, really pretty, like pearl, like mother of pearl uh, earrings that she put on here, flowers. This sweet little coral looking rose, this cut coral rose. Just so pretty. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Claire 2D2. Oh, happy Easter to you too, sweet pea. Happy Easter to you too. But it is just so pretty. It is, let me tell you how long it is. Let's see. It is two and three quarter inches 
in overall height. This one is my spring garden one. Oh, how sweet with the little butterfly resting on the flowers. It is just so cute. But we'll start to count down on it at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Hey, Georgia! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and bid in. Happy Easter to you too, you sweet angel. I see Angela sold. I have got that little uh, fuzzy wrap everywhere. Let me get my piece of paper so I don't forget. Ramola! Okay, you're already in the drawing for Karina, but let me put you on here. Ramola in for 19. Thanks, baby. Number four, Ramola. Okay. And then, Nick, uh, this is the last one we have of the, this is starting off at $12, Angela. $12. And this is um, one of Karina's handmade pottery skull magnets. There's the back. And this one has the little shamrock, uh oh, the little shamrock pipe with it. And Cindy, don't you worry, one lick. I know that Tarnished Treasures will not mind. And I saved you a. Uh, I had a pipe and a hat left over that didn't have a skull that went to it. So I saved them and I'm going to put them in your little box for when you come. So don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Because I know you jonesing from one of these pipes and one of these hats. Aren't they good? You can't explain it. I try to tell people, Lamar, that until you hold one and look at how well they're made, you can't appreciate it. You know, because, I, and she may actually made the, uh, the rubber stamp that she put, that she uses for the skull. Oh, Sarah Lee, you too, baby. You too, sweet pea. We'll start the countdown on this one at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and be at end. Thanks. I'm going to do this on my great grandmother. Oh, that's good, Ramola. Danielle, that's so good. That was a beautiful piece, wasn't it? Mary, you got that one. Thank you, honey. Let me put you in Karina's drawing because I'm fixing to have to draw. Ancestral beginnings. Here you go, baby. Boop. You're going in Karina's bucket. Okay, let's say ancestral beginnings for $12. Let me put you on her sheet because you know I can't get this up. Ancestral begins. I got time to do another. Okay, let's see. I better, I better do this because Katie, Katie and Nate will be having a sale right after me and um, Antique Agenda has a sale tomorrow night on her channel at 6 p.m. And Hey, Lucinda, how are you doing, baby? No, Katie and Nate are not having a sale tonight. Okay, no sale tonight. Well, then I don't know what I'm... 
I don't know what I'm rushing for. All right, but my, I'm drawing two people for my giveaway. So let me put this. Hold on. Let me write it down right here. Like I said, we have no idea what you're getting. So you'll be just as surprised as I am. And the first person to get a surprise is Maggie Sue. Maggie Sue, you'll get surprise giveaway number one. Let's see who the second one is. Lions, tigers, bears, and hares is going to be Heather's sale tomorrow. Oh, Trisha is coming on right after me. Yes, Sandy and Otto. Sandy and Otto. And Prairie Stone, you are going to get surprise number two from me. Prairie Stone. And then for Karina's giveaway, she's going to be just as surprised as I am. Let's see who won Karina's giveaway. <gasps> Patty Crane. Patty Crane, you won Karina's giveaway. So let me put you on here. Hold on. Patty Crane. Karina. Karina's giveaway. Okay. Thank y'all so much for coming. And you don't want to miss next week's sale because I will be having some more of my pieces from my collection that's come out of my personal collection that I'm trying to thin out some. And they are some good pieces. You will not want to miss it. And also, let's see. Something else. I will hope everybody has a blessed, peaceful, and relaxing day tomorrow. And I hope that you will all have a safe and happy week. And I think that's all. I think that's all I want to say. Oh, thank y'all so much. The more I see you next week, you sweet angel. I will see you next week. And Kelly Michelle will be back with us next week. She was just too tired because she worked down here with me all week. But it was so good to see y'all and hang out with us tonight. And I appreciate it so very much. I really do. And Tarnished Treasures does too. Thank you for supporting my buddy and her art and everything. Because it, it does help her out. And it, you know, it gives her some money to go and buy some um supplies and keep on with her little things that she puts out such good content on her channel to bring to us we love y'all so much and i appreciate you and everyone have a happy and safe week i love y'all they're so sweet